Funeral services today for the New Haven police officer killed in that motorcycle accident in South Carolina over Memorial Day weekend. Officer Edward Douglas was a well-respected member of the police force. News 8's Darren Kramer live in the New Haven newsroom tonight with more on this. Darren. Hi, Scott. Uh, officer Edward Douglas Jr. died late last month doing what he loved. He was riding his motorcycle in South Carolina. Today, family and fellow officers gathered to remember the cop with the mischievous smile who made a big impact. A procession of police motorcycles in New Haven today, followed by a hearse carrying a fallen officer. That followed by another group of civilian bikers, all there to say goodbye to a friend. 31-year-old Edward Douglas was killed in a motorcycle crash May 27th in South Carolina. He had been a member of the New Haven force for four years and stood out even to longtime officers. He was an absolute monument, you know, a big guy, uh, the oddest grin you've ever seen on anybody's face, and uh, he had a he had a comfortableness around people. Douglas grew up in New Haven, graduated Hillhouse High, and never wanted to leave the city he loved, staying close to his roots even after becoming a police officer. So he lived right up on 72 Fairmount in public housing, so that. He could, we always want the community to know that we haven't forgotten about them. So he lived there as an officer, came and went in his uniform, and also worked with the community there to try and increase uh, the quality of life in that area. Today, to a mix of his police family and family and friends, the mayor remembered the young officer who stood out. His performance of duty, his eagerness to learn, to be of service, these are the qualities now gone from the city. Officer Douglas's funeral was held at the Trinity Temple Church of God on Dixwell Ave in his hometown of New Haven today. Officers from a number of departments around the state were there to pay their respects. Ann and Scott, back to you.